Here is how you screen mirror from iPhone to Mac. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So first of all, on iPhone and Mac, you need to be signed in with the same Apple account or iCloud account. On iPhone and Mac, you need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Both iPhone and Mac needs to have Bluetooth enabled. And also in general and language and region, if you are in an EU country, you have to change your region from the EU to UK or US on both iPhone and Mac. Once this is all done on the Mac, we want to open the Finder. We will then go into Applications. And we're going to look for the new iPhone mirroring app. You need the latest macOS Sequoia or newer, and iPhone needs iOS 18 or newer. So we'll open the iPhone mirroring app, and we'll try again. And I'll just give this a couple of attempts. To get past that error, I have restarted both my Mac and my iPhone. And now when we open up the iPhone mirroring, you can see your iPhone on your Mac. And then we'll select the continue option. So from here, it says follow the instructions. And we just need to enter in our passcode to trust the connection. And then it should show on the Mac. So I'll allow notifications get started and now it should connect without any of those errors so we'll just wait for that one and so if you see iphone in use we now need to sleep the iphone and now watch this so require mac login to access iphone will aut uh, authenticate automatically and so now you can use the mouse to control the iphone so how it works you use two fingers on the trackpad to swipe across so two fingers to swipe across and you know we can go in I'll click on settings scroll down and I mean this is fully controlling the device right it's really cool you do have to you know swipe up from the bottom here um, ignore that to go home you put your mouse near the very top and then you see this home button here so if I open an app just click that one to go home and then you can click this button to enter the multitasking so yeah that's really cool and then you click the x to exit out of this one so i hope this video helps you out